With the dawn of every rugby league season, expectations are high for players and fans alike. But for the Newcastle Knights, this year is a landmark one. Arguably, the game's best coach, Wayne Bennett, has been lured to the club by a new owner. As Patrick Galloway reports, tomorrow's season start is a big talking point in the Steel City. Look closely and you may recognise the Newcastle Knights' new billionaire owner. Nathan Tinkler's public appearances since he took over the Knights last year have been few and far between. But today he was on hand to shake the hand of new coach Wayne Bennett in the side's final training outing before tomorrow's start to the season. It was 2001 when the Knights last won a title. Every person who pulled that jumper on today loved this club that much, and you people make that what it is. But in more recent times, one of the most passionate fan bases in the game has witnessed their club struggle to keep up with the pack. Thankfully for supporters, Tinkler's takeover has led to a much-needed injection of resources, which are now set to pay off. We brought Wayne Bennett to town is the number one. That's the top of the list. You know, everyone knows he's won seven premierships. He, know, he knows what works. Lord Mayor John Tate has been in council since 1980. I think we're at a point right at this moment where the expectation in the city, in the Hunter Valley, is at its highest point that I've probably ever known. And even the players have been buoyed by the enthusiasm of their supporters. Over the last couple of years, I've played for a lot of different clubs and I tend to find that um, everyone's involved in Newcastle here. Nathan Tinkler will be watching on right here tomorrow night when the Knights take on the Dragons in the season opener to the 2012 season. 33,000 people are expected to attend. In fact, around 200,000 are expected to go through the turnstiles through the entire round one of the competition this weekend. Patrick Galloway, ABC News, Newcastle.